Greetings friends and Robloxians, thanks for watching a Little Kingdom production. Please hit the like button now to help this channel get more views. And thanks to all who support. Now I'm not super rich in the islands game, I guess I could be, but I like to give away lots of coins and resources and stuff when doing events or if I feel it's deserved or I'm just being generous. This is not to condone begging or say I'll give you my stuff. I do like to share the gameplay, the fun, and the know-how that I've gained with you if you like. I started out just like everybody else in Islands, a bit of wheat, a fire pit, and an axe. Now I'm often asked, how do I get all the coins and stuff? And the answer is always to grind for it. Using macros makes the grind possible even when you're not sitting at your computer, known as AFK grinding. In this video, we'll see how to use TinyTask in Roblox Islands. TinyTask is a PC-only program as of now. Sorry, mobile users. A couple of months ago, after watching a friend AFK farm trees, and after having heard DV talk about these macros, and after a year of playing Roblox Islands, I finally decided to get one and figure it out. And I've made so much coin and so many resources with it. This is the website I downloaded TinyTask on. After downloading it, run a virus scan on it to make sure it's safe. I suggest you virus scan every program you download. I trust DV, and he suggested this program many times in his videos, talking about how he AFK farms and grinds overnight. Links to DV's video where he talks about these macros and a link to the tiny task download is in this video's description. It is a free program and it seems safe to use. Although I claim no responsibility if your PC has a meltdown, but it shouldn't. Alright, moving on. Now let's look at the tiny task settings and a couple of the various ways I've found to use it and I hope you find these tips handy too. When using tiny task, I like to select the option to keep it always on top. So that when I'm clicking on things in the game, the tiny task program is still visible and then I can tell if it's in record or play mode. You can tell if TinyTask is recording if the record button is red, and if it's actively in playback mode, in the top margin you see the number of loops played back if continuous, or the number of loops in a countdown if it's set to a certain number of playback loops. Keep your eye on that as we go, we'll talk more about that in a moment. To start the recording and stop the recording and then to start playback or stop playback, press the corresponding buttons on the TinyTask program window. Alternatively, you can press the hotkeys on your keyboard. The hotkeys by default are Control alt shift r for record and Control alt shift p for playback. The hotkeys can be modified a bit, which can be very handy. We'll see that a little further into this video. The situation will determine what works best, whether you're pressing buttons on the program window or using hotkeys on the keyboard. It can take some getting used to. I like to make wood planks a lot because they're so useful to craft chests and other needed items but they also make beautiful building blocks. So here I am setting up several sawmill tables. I usually do four or five, but you can use more or less depending on how many you have and your speed working with them. Here with five, you can see that the timing works out right. I stand where I can see the tables and I start the tiny task recording. I do not change my view while doing this. I am only moving the mouse pointer to click on things within my setup view. I'll just do one round of loading them with wood and coal to fuel them and then collect the wood after it's turned into planks and then stop the recording. Set the playback to continuous or set it to a certain amount of cycles if you want. Now you're ready to start the playback by pressing the play button or the hotkey on your keyboard. You may want to set it up to do only a certain amount if you don't want to use all your wood in your inventory. If on a continuous setting, tiny task would just keep making wood planks out of the entire wood inventory. Once it finishes with oak wood, then birch would fall into that inventory slot all the way down until all the wood was made into planks. Just make sure you're paying attention to the setup and you're getting the amount of wood you want. In the video here, I want you to notice in the tiny task program window, you can tell it's in playback mode with that little tiny playback icon in the top left corner of the window. And next to that is the time elapsed of the current loop. And then how many loops have passed is in parentheses. I use tiny task for smelting ore in various ways. I mostly do it for gold, but sometimes also copper when in a rush to get more ingots. First, I set up the smelter. 
and an input chest I'm using here has room for 270 items. Tiny Task allows us to either set the number of playback loops or continuous playback. With playback loops, you specify how many times you want your playback to repeat, and then it stops after completing the playback loops. I often limit the cycles to 90 for one of these chests. The smelter makes three ingots at a time, so I'll just record one cycle. I might set Tiny Task up to do 90 loops, and then it stops, so I'm not wasting any nuggets of valuable ore. Another way to grind ingots, perhaps a safer or simpler and cheaper way, is using furnaces and even the fire pit if that's all you have, you noob. Just kidding. But really, there may be no limit to the possibilities of AFK grinding with Tiny Task. With the fire pit and furnaces as I'm using here, just like with the sawmill tables, set them all up in a row where you can easily see them without moving your camera view or moving your avatar. Then you start the recording, just do one cycle where you load them with ore, and the fuel, in this case I'm using coal. You could use petroleum for a faster yield if you have it. And then when the smelting is done, remove the finished ingots and stop the recording. Then hit play on Tiny Task and watch the magic happen. Or better yet, go spend some time doing other important real life tasks, such as, I don't know, sleeping, or even family time, shopping, do whatever you gotta do. You may wanna turn off the screen savers to your computer and make sure your mouse and keyboard are secure while AFK so nothing disturbs your playback. After doing that, I usually turn off the monitors to my computer and I just try not to think about it. At the copper press, I use Tiny Task to make rods and plates mostly. Sometimes bolts depending on the need. This time it's set up for rods. I use a calculator because I'm bad at math and I want to make sure I have enough copper to make the items and also that I don't feed it too much copper and overfill the chest. Knowing that and setting up Tiny Task, I set on a stool facing the input side of the press, hold the copper ingots in hand and start the recording on Tiny Task. I press the Q button to drop one ingot onto the input side of the copper press, then stop the recording and start the playback. Please be aware of how many copper ingots you want to feed the press and set the playback loop to a limited number of cycles so you don't waste your precious resources. It might be a good idea to use multiple chests, even the new tier 2 input chests, if you have tons of ingots. For this one, I do use the F8 hotkey and I also set it up to play 8 times faster. Sometimes I think a keystroke might be missed due to lag, but it's better to do this a few times than to lose many precious copper rods or whatever you've made. And the last thing I'll show you is setting up to AFK grind mobs. Here I am at the slimes and I have my sword. You can use any weapon. Use one that you want to gain more XP with. Have a plentiful food source in your hotbar as well. Be standing in a place that you're sure to meet with the mobs and then start your recording. Swing your weapon a few times, select your food source, eat that, make sure your health is 100 or just enough so you don't die, and then select your weapon again and hit the stop on Tiny Task. Make sure Tiny Task is set to continuous for this AFK grind. You will gain tons of XP and loot. I get so many slime balls and sticky gears and all the rest here. This has just been a sample of the things I like to use the Tiny Task for. Like I said, the possibilities may be endless. Mobile players, if you're still watching, please don't hate. You know, mobile players are some of the best builders. I don't know how they do it. And some of the wealthiest Robloxian Islanders I know as well. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what kind of tasks you like to do with this program or any other thoughts you have on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Check this video's description for links to the tiny task and the DV video, as well as an invite code to the Little Kingdom Discord for continued conversation on Roblox games and whatever else you like. Just remember, have fun and keep it imaginary.